Here I will define an inflection point. An inflection point is some point on a graph with a particular property. So suppose we have a function on some interval and it's a real valued function and suppose it f is twice differentiable so that not only the, de the derivative exists but only the second order derivative exists. And suppose we find a c according to which the second order derivative is zero. Yeah, so f double prime c equals zero. Then the point on the graph c f c is called an inflection point. If one of the following cases holds, so so look at the sign scheme. Yeah, so the sign diagram for the second order derivative, and suppose this second order derivative is zero at c, and the sign, sign, sign change. So that on the left side we see a negative sign, and on the right hand side of c we see a positive sign. Or vice versa, that on the left hand side we see a positive sign, and on the right hand side we see a negative sign and a zero in c. So an inflection point is characterized by a zero of the second order derivative and a sign change at C of this second order derivative. Yeah, so at an inflection point, if you look at the sign of the second order derivative, then F turns from convex to concave by passing through C or vice versa. The function is concave on the left hand side and convex on the right hand side. Yeah, for example, for example, we study for the cubic function, so fx equals x to the power three. Then the first order derivative equals 3x squared, and the second order derivative is therefore equal to 6 times x. So, we not only see that the zero is a stationary point, but it's also a zero of the second order derivative. So, a sign scheme of the second order derivative is found by studying 6 times x. So we know that we have a negative second order derivative on the left hand side and, and a positive sign for all x's larger than 0. So indeed we find that 0, f0, which is just the origin, is inflection point for this function. And it's clear from the graph if we depict its graph yeah, so here is x to the power 3 in blue. Then on the left hand side from the origin we see a concave function and on the right hand side we see a convex function. So at an inflection point the curvature of f changes. Yeah, notice that here 0 is also a stationary point without being an extreme value, right? So um, this is a strictly increasing function, fx equals x to the power 3, and although the, sec uh, the first order derivative equals 0, this is nevertheless not an extreme value for the function.